this installation is the centre of Sydney around Town Hall and it combines a conventional architectural model with real-time modelling in the gaming engine crisis. So this is something that people have never seen before. So on this model you'll see a series of parasites, adaptations, new monorails, connections, pedestrian connections between buildings. And all of these come from direct research of what's happening inside the buildings. My research has been funded by the ARC since 2003 around the idea that there are types of public space in private space. I call this study porosity. In mapping those spaces, we work out what buildings desire to do next. The idea is that uh, in the future, architecture will be very much about radical uh, transformation of existing structure. And as cities get denser, uh, we need more than one ground plane. The Crisis Gaming Engine enables us to have so much more power over the atmospheres within those models. We can change the weather, we can change the lighting, we can have real-time avatars walking through, we can run scenarios. One way to see the relationship between the physical model and the computer game environment is to think of it as uh, quite a large human-computer interface. So we can have different people with different backgrounds engaging with each other and the same data at the same time. Our partners were the EICU, the Emergency Information Collection Unit, which is basically the security services of the Lands Department and State Government. And what they wanted was a model that they could run scenarios in to do with um, security situations, crises around a town hall, especially in the underground. The city needs a brain, a sort of a database of information about architecture and public space that is also a teaching tool. Not only does it help the security services run scenarios, but it helps us teach urban planning. This sort of modelling is critical to the city of the future and we see it as important that this model is held not by developers, not governed by developers, but held within the university, continually growing. We believe that this modelling will just keep transforming.